Hello everyone, Troy here with the Fallen Flags Update. Figured I'd let you guys uh, know what all was up. I figured it's uh, definitely time to go ahead and do a test run here on the layout. I got a couple of decoders installed. Um, test run, I'm going to use a, uh, a GP9, number 315, and a GP7 torpedo tube, number 557, both uh, both NPs. Um, Got just a small little train here. We're going to start off on the uh, on the branch line on the uh, south end of the of the layout. So, well, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I'll go ahead and I'll explain some stuff here as we uh, get going here and as the train progresses and goes through the layout. I don't have quite all my wiring done up over here in my turnouts, but. Uh, We'll see what we can do here to be able to throw the turnouts and get the layout run through. I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, just a basic run here through the layout. Uh, right now we're basically leaving the, uh, the branch line. We're getting ready to cross over a trestle, or a soon-to-be trestle, which will be right up over here. There's, uh, there's technically there's three trestles that will be installed. Or one here, the one that the train is on now, and then one just on the other side, which goes to a whole other section of the layout, which has not been built yet. And right up over here, the train's going to be entering into a tunnel someplace right up over into here. And there's another tunnel that actually sits right up over in here. This is a crossover, so as the train comes down from the, from the other part, it can actually go ahead and be able to reverse itself and be able to come back down and not cross back over. Um, these two tracks right here is basically it's a uh, it's an eastbound and westbound because I have a, a coal train that'll be heading up for another 10 foot add-on to the layout. Um, there's also a uh, another section right up over here. There is a uh, another bridge that comes across that heads out to the rest of the branch line. Well, the train's actually coming back down the branch line here. It's not a very big train, but uh, it'll work for the test run. Little shorty caboose, it's a kit bash caboose, NP, number 1683. This is a pretty long run, it's uh, about 21 foot long. Coming down the branch line, and uh, where the engines are now, there's going to be another trestle right up over in here, into this section, which comes up over my yard area and my main line. The train will be running into another tunnel right up over here, and the uh, this train you will not see for quite a while. This tunnel is uh, pretty long; it's about uh, about 30 feet long overall, 34 foot. So once this train goes in, you won't see this train here for a few more minutes. Once it goes into that tunnel, now the train's actually it's going to be paralleling the yard now as it comes down from the branch line. Once again, this train you will not see. We're going to get down here so you can actually see this train right here coming through. Um, track's pretty dirty, so we'll see how well this will actually go through and run. If you guys a little look here at the rolling stock and the engines as they come through. Now we're advanced ourselves. Well, the train's got a couple of choices here. It can either take off and go for the valley or also come right back up into the yard again. We're going to take the valley. Once again, this train is still inside of a tunnel. This train will not come out of the tunnel until right about in here someplace. It'll actually come back up out of the tunnel. 
and here's my siding. The train's just getting ready to enter into the siding now, or go by it actually. I'm going to get up over here on top of the chair and give you guys a up above look of what it will actually look like coming through the valley here as this train comes around. I'm trying to, you guys will have to excuse me here, I'm trying to hold the uh, camera as still as possible so I'm not too shaky here with everything. Just going to go ahead and move the camera on over, give you guys a look from up above. Um, this is the edge of the cliff right up over here. Be a big waterfall that goes up in there as well. And right where that tunnel right there is, right where that cliff is, it'll be going back inside the tunnel again. Once again, this train will be gone for about 12 feet. Um, actually, it's a little bit longer than that. Um, probably about 18 feet, actually. It's a four foot radius. Now we're going to come around to my south staging. Uh, these, all these, all these staging areas are nine foot long, thereabouts, give or take. So I can hold some fairly nice trains coming through here. All my staging areas. Wiring is all temporary right now. I need a, uh, I need a booster. So all this wiring that's up underneath here is temporary until I can get a booster up inside of here once I can pick up another booster. Coming around through the hidden staging here. Now we're going to come up over towards the front part of the layout. This is our lowest level now. And we're going to come up down over by the uh, the depot area. There'll be a depot right back up over in here and a uh, and another track. There'll be another track that sits down over here as well. Be able to spot a couple of cars back up in there. Now this is uh, this is basically an, another reverse loop that this train is coming through. This is our westbound train. This is the, uh, the westbound route here on this track. goes into a tunnel. That tunnel will be right about in here. I gotta turn that right there off. It comes around by the roundhouse area here. And then it'll pop back out. I'm gonna walk around over here to the other side. And right where the train's coming through now, up over here, this will be right where all my lumber mill and stuff will be. And a few other buildings, so there'll be some more switching down through there as well. So the train's going to go back inside the tunnel right here. Now this train you won't see again for a little while longer now. I think it takes probably about a minute or so for the train to be able to come through. What this train's going to do is it's actually going to go ahead and make a loop up underneath, kind of follow the roundhouse and come back up and around and come back up off onto this track right here which brings you right back up over the yard. So here comes the train now. Once again, you will not see this when it's all done. It's be basically a, a big mountain that sits up over here on this side. Now as this train makes this loop, there is a uh, there's another four foot section through here. Now this train, you won't see this train now until it hits right about in here someplace. It'll actually pop out just before this turnout, and uh, this right here will be my other siding. We're not sure yet where we're going to actually put that tunnel. We'll figure something else. Now we're going to come down the main line. We're going to parallel the. Uh, the yard. Then now, we're, now we're going to go ahead and come on down to my B staging. This is on the uh, north end of the layout. Um, the only one I'm not going to take you guys through is 
up through my my actual north staging, which I'm right now I'm calling that my A staging. And the reason being is that right there basically just holds the train so the train can be able to pull in coming up out of the yard or out of the valley, either direction, and be able to stop the train up there and be able to pull out another one. So it gives you the illusion that there's actually more trains that are coming through than what you think. So once the train disappears inside of a tunnel and another one comes out, everybody's trying to figure out what's going on. Now this train is going to be entering into another tunnel, approximately right about in here. And back over to the east end of the layout. We're coming around the corner now. We're going to go ahead and hit the uh, B staging. Now here, we're, right here we have a couple different sections here to choose. If we take this track, we can go straight up over to our valley and take us down to our south staging. Or we can come this way, the route that it's on now, and go over to our B staging. Or we can take this route over here, which will take us all the way back up through the branch line again. So we've got a few different choices here once in this once in the trains come around, this side of the layout actually has quite a bit of the uh, options of what you can actually do here. So now here's the train down through my hidden staging. This train stays up underneath for about uh, 18 feet, I believe. 16, ah, uh, excuse me, 16 feet. So that train, we'll see if we guys can see, see if we can go ahead and catch it here. The train's actually going to be coming up underneath the roundhouse as we head back east. These are basically just on the other track that we just came down as we passed up coming up into the yard before. So once again we're coming down over here by right where the uh, lumber mill and stuff will be. Now we're going to head back over towards the depot area of the layout. I'll take you guys back up over here, going into the tunnel, coming out of the tunnel, now we're on the eastbound track, Now we're actually heading back up through our south staging now again. Those are our south staging tracks. This section right here actually goes down to an ice house for some more switching down below. So my cars have a long ways to go to go ahead and go from point A to point B to point C back to point A again. That right there will actually bring me right back down to the first level. That will have a pretty steep grade coming down there to it. Then we're going to come up over here to the other side of the layout. I'll show you guys the other side of the uh, valley. And like I said, I'm trying to hold still here. Don't mind the, uh, don't mind the mess. I don't know how well this train will handle pulling these cars coming up. I guess we'll soon find out, see if it'll actually pull them. It shouldn't have no problems though. And right about in here is right where that tunnel tunnel portal will be for the valley track. Now we're going to go ahead and head down through the valley. Now we're coming back through it the opposite direction. Once again, these right here will be two trestles here, one trestle up over here. So it'll look uh, pretty busy when everything comes through. So when you come down my basement stairs, you'll actually see all the trestles with the waterfall. That waterfall will be positioned right about in here someplace, coming down into the valley. I don't know how I'm going to make the waterfall yet, if I'm going to go up underneath the tracks or not. 
And we're going to head back on over here to the other side of the layout again. Now we're rounding off to our complete run of the layout. And now we're going to head back up through the branch line in the uh, original path that it should be taking. Well, this is the chance where we can take that choice and be able to take off and go up over here to our north staging of the layout, our A staging. So you can actually take a train, run it all the way up, run it through the layout, or bypass part of the layout, be able to hide the train back there, pull out another train, and not really know what's going on. With three different sections of hidden staging, you can be pulling trains in and pulling different trains back out. Layout will never go ahead and sleep. So now we're making our run back up. Uh, right where it makes this curve is actually the steepest part of the whole grade on this entire layout, which I still have to fix yet. Seems to do okay going up there, but that sits at about a 2.2 to a 2.3% grade. It's a little too steep for my liking, so we're going to drop that down just a little bit and get that part right there of the layout fixed. Originally this layout, wherever this track right here is, where the train's coming across now, is supposed to be coming across right where it is now, right where this part right here is. So this train should be coming around the loop and coming around the opposite direction. Well, we couldn't get our grades properly, so this is what we ended up coming out with. And in order for us to go and get the height that we needed for our waterfall and the scenery that, that we wanted to achieve with everything, this is kind of how everything turned out. Coming up the branch line. Then we're we'll going to be heading on the eastbound track. This is on our outside. Almost back up to the branch line now. We only have uh, probably about 20, 25 feet left to go. This is a fairly large layout with all the runs and the corners and everything else. Just crawling on up. You guys will look at what it will actually look like coming through. Back out of the tunnel, right about in here. And this this is all cliff between the valley and the south end of the layout for the branch line. Still have a lot of wiring to do, a lot of turnouts to put in yet, um, a lot of switch machines to get wired up yet control panels, um, getting closer to scenery, not too far off, but there's still a lot more that has to be done. Um, getting ready to start operating with computer control, I want the computer control capabilities as well, and uh, especially for the hidden staging so I can access transponding and uh, be able to locate all my trains and know right where every train is, what's inside the train, what kind of rolling stock, so forth and so on. Well, there it is. It's one complete run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully the video wasn't uh, too bad for you guys. I tried to stay as still as I possibly could, but it's kind of tough when you're trying to walk around. Um, got some more stuff done up over here by the turntable area. Weathered up some more track. 
I um, still have a couple pieces of track up over here to glue down yet, but I got to work on my coaling station, my ash pit, before I start gluing that stuff down. Be able to get my coal lead ran for all the coal cars, and then start weathering on the roundhouse. Um, as you can tell, uh, I do have decoders inside these two engines, and uh, one's a GP7, one's a GP9. Um, they are wired up. I got to do a little bit more work to them. They kind of cut out every so often. And I think that's just with the, uh, the connections on the trucks themselves. So I'll go ahead and do some more work on those, get those ones up and running. Hopefully I can go and get some more decoders and get some more engines up and running and get this turntable area here done and get a couple of block occupancy detectors put in once I get that stuff done. or I'll do some more how-to videos and on some of the wiring and what I'm doing with everything. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment or a question. Um, if I have to, I'll make another video, be able to post whatever it is you guys need to know about. And uh, happy YouTubing. Thanks again for watching.